You're all here early. Please join us. Did you sleep well, Cap? Sort of. I've gotten so used to nights on the battlefield, sleeping in a real bed hurts my back. Then do I have good news for you. Has something happened? Ballistar's just around the corner. Once his forces pass Lampricars, won't take him long to reach us. One way or another, when Ballistar arrives, things are going to get loud in a hurry. Speaking of which, is Lyriar usually this quiet? Not at all. This is the first I've ever seen it like this. Well, even the animals are hiding. You'd think the place was abandoned. <sighs> Seems like the whole city is holding its breath. Makes sense, though. Nobody here knows you from a hole in the ground. Only natural they'd be afraid. I guess you're right. We need to circulate word among the populace that we intend them no harm. That's the only way we'll get the city running again. In that case... Let's all head to the tavern. What? We've got to win the people's trust, right? What better way than face to face? Well, sounds good to me! Please. You're the last one these people need bothering them right now. Now, ah, what do you know? People love me! All right, crew. Inns, markets, street corners, anywhere people gather. Let's spread the word. Liriars under new men. This was a good idea. Uh, the city seems to be returning to life. You know what they say. Never drink with mercenaries. We tend to grow on people. I'm glad we can put the people of Liriar at ease. Do you have a moment? I have something I wish to speak with you about. Sure, go ahead. I've been searching for more information on the power we discussed before. I believe there is much to learn here. That's good news, right? Mm, possibly. It appears that Emperor Ludovictus was aware of this power as well. There are traces here of research not unlike my own. I'll need to do some more digging, but with luck, I believe we may soon be able to harness the power within you. Take your time. We can talk when you know more. Hey, Eden. There's a messenger from Ballastar. On my way. I apologize. I just sent him away. The message was that Ballastar is approaching the capital. We're to open the gates upon his arrival. But before it comes to that, there's something you need to know. What's that? The rumors regarding his troops have not subsided. I've heard they're torching villages now. They say Ballastar himself is leading the massacres, and that he's come into possession of strange new powers. Albrecht mentioned something like that earlier. But this all sounds a little far-fetched. It's just wartime gossip. Scared people getting each other worked up. Like how folks around here were. I sincerely hope that's the case. However... Whether the rumors are true or not, adding an army to our present situation bodes ill. Liriar is still recovering from recent events. In a situation like this, Ballastar and his forces can only add to the disarray. That's true enough. But Ballastar and his troops are also still part of the Benarian army. Aside from these rumors, we don't have much solid pretense to tell them they can't come in. I might have an idea. I'm listening. 
There's a village not far from here by the name of Viadel. It's an old ranching town, and the trade roads between here and there are well kept. How do you know all this? Well, they make a barley wine I'm a fan of. Anyway, why not meet with Ballastar there? It's not a bad idea, but it still feels like it sends a certain message, keeping them out. Well, all you have to do is throw them a grand banquet in Viadel. We bring them good food and supplies, respectfully explain the situation, and nobody's ego gets bruised. That's a great idea. If we throw them a feast, we can say we're celebrating both Ballastar's arrival and our victory here. I don't know. This whole situation's giving me that prickly feeling. Who could turn down free food and drinks? I'm all in. It's about time we have some fun around here. A banquet, huh? All right. Let's start preparing and do this right. This should be enough for Ballastar's troops, right? So long as they don't request anything else. I hope this goes well. There are certainly enough ways it could go wrong. Don't worry too much about it. It'll just be a celebration of the Benarian army's victories. You're right. Let's try to enjoy ourselves. Cap! Balasar's army has arrived! The time has come. Let us see whether Eden is still a friend, or has become a Brahma's lapdog. Well, they did bring us to Viadel. Liriar would have been better. On the other hand, they've thrown a banquet. It's polite, but it's drawing a line. Ask me. They don't want us in the city. Hmm. Something about it smells fishy. We can't be sure of anything. Let's not rush to judgment. Well, how long should we wait? They're already acting like they own the place. If that isn't proof enough, I don't know what is. Please, come on in. We've been expecting you. Excuse us, we've had a long journey, and High Commander Ballastar is feeling especially weary. Yes, of course. It's been a while, Ballastar. It's good to see you again. Likewise. Congratulations on your victory at Lenoy. It's an honor to celebrate Benario's victories like this. Gods know we all worked hard enough to get here. We brought plenty of food and drink, so please, make yourselves comfortable. Now, enough formal stuff, huh? Let's eat! So, I hear you've taken ownership of Liriar. Well, King Abramo did promise me a reward beyond my wildest dreams. Bit much, if you ask me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the whole city. <sighs> I should apologize. I underestimated you. Lady Marshall, there was something off about Ballastar and his troops. How so? They're still standing. And for an army of weary soldiers, they aren't acting very hungry. I had no idea the reward you were seeking was the Imperial capital itself. <laughs> T 
To be honest, I'm still kind of processing it. Is that why you killed him then? What? I asked. Is that why you and Abramo put your scheming heads together to assassinate Isoro Fenice? What the hell are you... Save your excuses. Kaspar has already confessed to everything. Admit it. You've been scheming with a little worm since the very start. Are you out of your mind? What makes you think me of all people would want Isoro dead? The very land we're standing on. Fine ending for a man of humble beginnings. Now hang on a minute. There's been some kind of misunderstanding here. Oh, aye. Misunderstandings aplenty. For instance, I can't understand why it's me begging hospitality from you. What the hell's gotten into your head? I didn't cut a deal with Abramo, you stubborn ass! The man ordered me to come here! I had no choice! Following orders is always a choice. That's... I shouldn't be surprised. You're making all the same excuses as the other mercenary. Other mercen... Wait... You mean Clara? Enough of this. What the hell? Cap! Brother! You're so far off the path, I don't even know where to begin. Don't do this, Ballastar. I'm begging you. Ah, pathetic. The time is now. We must flee. What are you... Eden, now! I used to think you were a pretty decent guy. But to think you'd kill the High Commander. That's bullshit! Isora was like a father to me! I wouldn't do anything like that! Lying right to the end. I would have sent you off painlessly. But if you're not willing to come clean... Gods! There's no point in trying to talk any further. The fact that they've already surrounded us means that they intended to kill us from the start. How the hell did things end up like this? I can't make sense of it. The only thing you need to concern yourself with is getting out of this place. All right. It's gonna be chaos when this is over. But for now, let's just focus on getting out of here. Everyone! They're prepared to slaughter each and every one of us! If you want to live, Pick up your sword and fight for your life! We will survive this!
it's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. You got it! You got it, Cap. Right. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. I will bring justice to this land. I understand. Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. Tomorrow's a new day! I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt! Faith will never betray me. Understood. As you command. I can handle that. You can do this. You can do this. Too high to climb. The harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. Luck is on my side. You got it, kid. No problem. Loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Should have been more careful. Sure thing. Let's get it done.
Go ahead, open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. Right! Not everyone can be forgiven. Within every lie, a kernel of truth. Coming right up! People who run their mouths die first. Plan. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Think deeply. Act quickly. It's up to me. You see the trees. I see the forest. Let's roll! Um, where are we going again? Simple enough. Praise sighted. starts racing slow down and take a moment the stronger the heart the sharper the blade if you say so light burns the brightest in the dark Francisco the Bold has arrived!
Some questions are worth dying for. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Be smart. You got it, Cap. Sure thing, Cap. Mind the bow. Sweat. Yeah, yeah. No problem. People who run their mouths die first. Sure thing, Cap. Tomorrow's a new day. It's up to me. I'll see it through. Luck is on my side. Should have been more careful. I will bring justice to this land. Burns the brightest in the dark. Not everyone can be forgiven. Loud and clear. Don't fight! 
smarter. Fight harder! You got it, kid. Within every lie, a kernel of truth. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. All right. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Right! Think deeply. Act quickly. As you command. Yeah, yeah. These are the traitors who led Isoro to his death. Hunt them down and give no quarter. How many of these guys are there? It seems they have every intention of killing us! We have to break through their lines now! There's no time for hesitation! Here goes! Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. All right! Coming right up! The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Let's roll! You got it!
solid plan. People who run their mouths die first. There is no mountain too high to climb. I can handle that. You see the trees. I see the forest. Fine. Understood. Tomorrow's a new day. I'll see it through. Ah! <sighs> it's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. But I know how to hurt. Let's get it done. Not everyone can be forgiven. The fight, the sweeter the victory. Faith will never betray me. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. Charge! You chased us all the way here? Don't let them catch you! We're gonna get out of here somehow! Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. I understand. So... Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Can do. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. Ah! <laughs> 
Getting sloppy. Simple enough. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. Acknowledged. Prey sighted. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. Sure thing. You see the trees. I see the forest. If you say so. You got it, kid. Here goes! Don't fight smarter! Fight harder! I will bring justice to this land. Enough.
isn't the end. That's far enough. Eden, did you think I'd let you escape so easily? Alistar! I'll start with you. And then I'll kill the rest of my uncle's enemies. Damn it. Words aren't getting through to him. We don't have time to deal with Ballastar! If you don't want to die here, run like your life depends on it! It's up to me. who run their mouths die first. I can handle that. I understand. Light burns the brightest in the dark. No sweat. Sure thing. Coming right up. Yeah, yeah. Sure thing, Cap. I will bring justice to this land. Go ahead, open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Understood. You? 
You too? It can't be! Find a new strategy. Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. Light burns the brightest in the dark. is on my side. Get up! Don't worry about me. I just need a second. Damn! Easy! <laughs>
Brother, get out of here! Out of the way! Leon! You can't pass. I won't let you. You needn't bother shedding tears. You'll join them soon enough. I wonder, will you and I share the same fate? Yeah? Robert. Hey, Cap. We've, uh... We've lost Ballastar's people for now, I think. I'm not here for a status report. <sighs> How are you doing? I don't know. It's strange. Leon was my friend. I should be crying, screaming, pulling my hair out. But all I feel is numb, like I'm in a fog. I should keep busy, find something to do. You haven't seen Francisco, have you? I could really use his help. No. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, Cap. Hang in there. You too. Need something? There's nothing I can say that'll make this any easier. I've seen loss too. And I know some deaths hit harder. Just remember the lives of those that remain. These are your people. Now's the time to talk to them. Might help you too. Thank you. For all your advice. Don't fall apart, kid. Folks around here need you. And I'm one of them. Welcome. I hope you know we're only alive because of you. I should have dealt with him sooner. 
Seeing Ballastar. He had an aura like yours. Specifically, the fire that flowed from his weapon. It seemed a different power than that of Venezius. Judging by the sheer force of it, I suspect Ballastar's power comes from another ancient entity, Asguasa. If I were to harness this power, would I be strong enough to beat him? Then please, I'm begging you. Help me. Of course. We'll investigate the matter, together. I'm confident we can find a way to use this power safely. Thank you. Hey, Robert's looking for you. I know. Avoiding him? No. I don't know. Maybe. It should have been me. Francisco, don't. Well, I'm supposed to be the strong one. I'm supposed to be the one who stays behind. There's blame to go around, but none of it is yours. Oh, why? Because it's all your fault, right? Get over yourself. None of us know what we're doing here. Same as it ever was. Just three dumb kids from Lynetta in way over their heads. <sighs> here. You should have this. A necklace? Wait, this is... Yeah. It's that pendant Leon found back in Lyria. I figured one of us should keep it. I don't know why, really. It wasn't even his, just some other dead guy's jewelry. But Leon kept it. Yeah. I'll hold on to it. Thank you, Francisco. Please, don't say that right now. I don't deserve it. Yes? Eden, are you all right? No. Every time I close my eyes, I just see it all over again. <sighs> Eden, just leave everything to me. You go on and rest. Thank you. Hello. Eden. You all trusted me. Now look where we are. Please don't say that. I know it feels like no one can possibly understand what you're going through. But please remember, you're not alone. For whatever comfort that brings. We're all here by your side, ready to follow you. I just wish... I wish I could do more. Sarah. You've done enough. Thank you. Eden. I've spoken with the others about our next step, but we need you to reach a final decision. I think it would be best if we got everyone together. If you're feeling up to it, will you join us? We can't do this without you.
You have my attention. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes? Hmm. Yes. Yeah. I don't think so. Need something?
What is it? Right. How's it going? I really screwed up. <sighs> yeah? <sighs> Welcome back. Many thanks. Hello there. That means a lot. Good to see you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> 